After four years of shooting 3D VR videos with the Views XR camera, I've decided to use a different 3D format by getting a Kandao QCam Ego camera. The Views XR and Ego are two of the most affordable cameras on the market that you can use to create 3D footage that can be watched in virtual reality. While the Ego camera doesn't have the same level of flexibility as the Views XR, it is a product that is easy to use and creates content that is easy to share on platforms such as YouTube. When I first got the Views XR, the package was very simple. It included the camera, a USB charging and interface cord, a protective pouch, and an adapter for the micro SD card. The Views XR was produced by the company Human Eyes, which is no longer in business. For Ego, I got the deluxe set, which included the camera, two batteries, a battery charger, a selfie stick, and a micro SD card. The KuCam Ego is produced by Shenzhen Kandao Technology Company Limited, which previously produced a VR camera to compete with the Views XR. The Views XR was, and still is, an impressive camera that was first released in 2019. With such a small size and affordable price, the Views XR can capture both 360 and 180 degree photos and videos. Personally, I only use a camera to get 180 degree video footage for VR, and its small size has allowed me to capture footage from a wide variety of viewpoints. I have even attached the camera to a monopod. This allows me to hold the camera upside down to get footage of subjects that are closer to the ground, such as dogs. On the other hand, the Ego doesn't produce 360 or 180 degree videos, but it does produce 3D videos that can be watched in VR, on 3D TV sets, and in Anaglyph 3D. Ego's footage is much crisper, and the colors are much more vibrant than what you get with the Views XR. Views XR footage has to be adjusted by using the Views Studio software. The Ego camera comes with a built-in touchscreen viewer, which allows users to adjust focus, aperture, and shutter speed. The touchscreen is easy to use, and it allows users to see what they are shooting. This is a huge improvement over the Views XR, which only allows viewers to see what the camera sees through a Bluetooth app on their smartphones, and the app doesn't always work. Another advantage with the Ego is its small size and rectangular shape, which makes it ideal for usage with camera gimbals. The Views XR camera isn't heavy, but its vertical shape makes it impossible to use with the gimbal I use. When creating 3D content, image alignment is crucial. Thus, having a gimbal to stabilize your 3D camera is vital for making sure that your 3D content looks good. The Ego includes an attachable viewer that allows me to review my photos and footage as soon as I shoot them. When I use the Views XR out in the field, I can't review my footage until I upload it into my computer. Some have compared the Ego viewer to the classic Viewmaster toy, which it somewhat resembles. Ego's portable viewer is useful in determining the quality of footage when it comes to lighting and focus, although it does not accurately display what the pictures and videos will look like in a VR headset or an Anaglyph 3D. Both the Views XR and Ego include software apps that allow users to adjust the footage created. Because the Views XR creates 360 and 180 degree footage, the View Studio comes with all sorts of features to adjust that footage to optimize viewing in VR. Ego users can use KuCam Studio to adjust their footage, but it's a much simpler app because Ego's 3D format is much less complicated. One of KuCam Studio's most useful features is a convergence feature, which allows users to adjust the left and right images for better focus. This is particularly helpful for when you get footage of smaller objects, something that I've been using for my toy review videos. In fact, the Ego is much better overall at getting footage of smaller objects than the Views XR. One thing that both cameras have in common is that they both need a lot of power to operate. For Views XR, I got a Wasabi Power hand grip to keep the camera going when I'm out in the field. For the Ego camera, you should buy at least two or more batteries and make sure that they are charged before you get your footage. You will go through these batteries quickly, so having backups are useful. Also, both of these cameras heat up when they are used, 
so it's best to keep them out of direct sunlight on hot summer days because it will impact the quality of your footage. I still like the Views XR, and I plan to continue using it for as long as it works. However, I plan on using it only for videos where a sense of immersion enhances the viewing experiences, namely videos that focus on specific locations or interactions with animals. In contrast, videos that concentrate on specific objects, such as three-dimensional art, vehicles, and collectibles, will look just as good or even better in the Ego 3D format, which is easier to share and is less resource-intensive to edit and store. Thanks for watching this review. Please click like and subscribe to see more videos, and please feel free to leave comments below.